Hello. Here's some useful information, but I certainly hope that none of you guys is ever forced into a situation to use the kind of information we're talking about today. This thing over here is called an ABS module or ABS actuator. This one here is for the 2006 through 2010 Infinity M. That is the M35, M45 throughout the models. But they're not exactly directly compatible, and I'll explain why in a bit. Let me show you where it sits in the vehicle. Okay, pop a hood. Go to the brake compartment, open it. And then you'll see an octopus with a bunch of tubes going to it. This is the one. So mine is a M45 Sport. Um, pretty much all technology packages you could get. And what you see is that I've got two lines going in from the master cylinder, feeding into the octopus over here. And then you've got four lines coming out of it. So I've kind of rubbed over here because there's some important numbers showing on over here. And then you have an electrical connector right here. You have some other numbers, bar code and things like that. But this part right here, I've made those, if you've watched my VDC video, among others, this part is what, what is tasked with your stability and those safety systems, the things that make the Infinity M smart, so to say. So now that you've seen it inside at home, let's go back here to this example. So this is how it sits inside the vehicle, like this. And the electrical connector goes right here. And then this is how you feed it. Inlets and then outlets. Master cylinder two, master cylinder one, front left, rear right, rear left, front right. And this arrangement here is kind of interesting because whenever you, you bleed your brakes, there is a proper way you're supposed to do it, a proper sequence you're supposed to follow. But as much as I mentioned that this part right here is for the entire generation it's not directly compatible throughout because depending on and that's why i mentioned my packages in my m45 over there m45 sport depending on what packages you had first you had an abs module for the m35 you had another one for the m35 x all-wheel drive m35 sport you had something for technology package, all these different things. Same thing on the M45 side. So they they are slightly different. And when you want to buy a replacement, as I said, don't just buy one off the street and hope it works. You're supposed to check and verify that it's at least compatible. So when you look over here, you have some numbers and... All these different numbers, you've got barcodes, as I said. Uh, this one's still bleeding a little bit of uh, brake fluid. I try to pinch them, but obviously it's not fully dry. But this number right here is the most important number. This is a part number, 47660EH110. This is a part number for this ABS module, at least for the part car, parts car that I got this module from. So if I wanted to replace it in that car, I would look for this number, look for an ABS module with this part number, or whatever number superseded this one here. And that number, as I said, it's pretty easy to find. You don't really have to do too much. Just get a flashlight, look inside here, and it's right there. So this is a 2008 M45 Sport, and this is the number that mine has. So whenever I'll be buying a replacement, I'm going to need to look if I have to. It's not a common failure part. If I uh, have to, I'll look for each, you know, 47650. I think that's the first five. EJ71D. Or if it's jumped up to E, F, whatever. You, you have to look and be diligent about it. So, obviously, the dealership would be glad to sell you a brand new one. But sometimes with a whole lot of deep research or just ask me <laughs> could probably tell you quicker than most people can research them outside of the dealership that is so and then don't take advantage of dealers you can just ask them and then not buy from them you know support them in a way buy donuts or something anyway 
as I said, this is the video. That's all I wanted to talk about. And I sure hope that you're not forced into a situation where you have to replace this. It's not the most, it's not the worst thing to replace, honestly. It's not too terrible. It's just that, oh man, bleeding a whole ABS module. This thing, I disconnected it like four years ago, four, five, this is 20. Yeah, like four years ago, and it's still bleeding a little bit of brake fluid till now. Look at that. <laughs> so, and whenever you have your, whenever you like have a leaky caliper or leaky brake on the downside, and you end up like drying or emptying your ABS module, filling it with brake fluid and bleeding it is not the most fun thing to do in the world. I can tell you that. So, that's it. But if you find yourself in that position, at least you know, don't just buy it. That's if there's anything you have to remember from this long video. I, I don't know how long it is now, is that you need to check your part number and try your best to match it.